what is up? This is your LA in a minute. Now I'm here at the Redondo Beach Pier. Now this is one of the more overlooked beach cities, but Redondo Beach is very influential, not just LA, but world history. Why? Number one, it's where George Freeth brought surfing to the mainland. And number two, it's where the modern lifeguard philosophy was invented. Let's get into it. And yes, this is another installment of the LA Taco Neighborhood Project. So make sure you're checking that out on lataco.com or download the app. So first, it's important to know that before surfing, before modern lifeguarding, the Chowigna native people used what is now Redondo Beach as both a lookout place and a source for food. The wetlands featured halibut, lobster, and sea bass, and also lots of salt. The salt would become one of the main reasons why the future Redondo Beach would be formed. But at the time, the Chowigna bartered salt with other tribes from their village by the lake called Unuva Unga, which meant place of salt. When the Spanish came in in the 1780s and divided the land into land grants, what is now Redondo Beach was actually part of the Rancho San Pedro land grant. However, adjacent was Rancho Sauso Redondo, which means Ranch of the Round Clump of Willows, Redondo being round in Spanish, and that's where the city is said to have gotten its name. The Chauigna native people were forcefully relocated to the missions in 1854 when Manuel Dominguez sold 215 acres of Rancho San Pedro, including that Salt Lake, to two developers who would form Pacific Salt Works. The salt business was lucrative and would form a baseline economy for what would become Redondo Beach for the next 30 years. In the 1880s, the Santa Fe and Southern Pacific Railroads waged a rate war and drew thousands of newbies out to Los Angeles, setting off a population and real estate boom. Redondo was primed for development because it had the possibility of being a resort and a port. By the 1890s, the railroads and the steamships were bringing people by the thousands, not to mention freight loads of oil and lumber, and Redondo was actually the first port in Los Angeles. Hmm. In 1890, the massive gleaming Hotel Redondo opened and became one of the premier hotels on the entire West Coast. In April of 1892, the burgeoning port and resort city of Redondo Beach officially became a city. At the turn of the 20th century, Henry Huntington was developing the region's dominant transportation system, the Pacific Electric Railway, and he was buying up nearly all the land in Redondo Beach. While vacationing in Hawaii, Huntington spotted George Freeth surfing and persuaded him to come to Redondo Beach to give daily exhibitions of walking on water. It was there that George Freeth became a modern legend and the first surfer in mainland United States. Freeth became a local celebrity and hero when he would mount his 8-foot-long, 200-pound surfboard and ride those waves. Freeth was also passionate about water safety and became the first modern lifeguard. This would forever change not just Redondo Beach, but all the beach cities of Los Angeles and the United States. Redondo Beach is underrated and historical. All right, LA, it's been a minute.